Alrighty, everyone, this is Stray. I'm sure you've all heard a lot about it in the last couple of days, or really the last couple of months. This was a very hotly anticipated release. It is the sort of uh, uh, cool cyberpunk-infused uh, indie adventure game where you are playing as a cat. Um, uh, it is published by Annapurna Interactive, and I suppose one of the more notable games that uh, Sony got to be kind of like their big hey it's on day one on our service which is a thing that they are going to have to do if they want to compete with game pass which obviously has that a lot a lot of that on game pass so this game is i think 30 euro if you were to buy it outright or if you were on the mid tier the middle tier uh, of playstation plus you can get it uh, i was about to say for free but for the cost of that subscription i'm about 45 minutes in here um so i got through the intro which is pretty interesting uh you it's um there's not really much to say. It's in some kind of weird post-apocalyptic world. You play as a cat, you're with a group, you get separated from the group, and you fall into the seedy underbelly of the city, and that's really all I know so far. Uh, so yeah. Here we go. Uh, you can press circle to meow. It has a dedicated meow button. And yeah, I, I just... They've just now introduced this thing where I'm kind of noticing, like... It has some kind of effect on the electricals in the universe. I am not certain what the significance of that is. But again, this game, obviously, as you might expect, no no dialogue. No actual, like, meaningful dialogue. It's all just a lot of environmental storytelling. Uh, you know what game this reminds me of that I was not expecting it to remind me of? Uh, like, Inside and stuff like that. Um, Eco, to a certain extent, as well. Like, it's a very... Um, atmospheric kind of uh storytelling through its environment game it's not i thought it would kind of just be a wacky platformer where you play as a cat but there's a little bit more than that going on here where am i i would not make that jump uh it's all uh I was about to say scripted, that's the wrong word. There are, there are pre-assigned, like, jump points. You cannot just press X to just jump. You have to jump at a dedicated point. Which takes some getting used to. Where I came from. knock things over because you're a cat <gasps> ah! I'm all right our little our little nameless kitty is okay so far this is only about an hour in by the way if anyone is worth wondering about uh, story or spoilers or any of that other stuff um I'm roughly one hour in and I actually I I don't know how long this is I have not heard I have not actually heard So as you can see, when you when you look at a platform you can jump on, you get this little prompt here uh, telling you you can jump, but you cannot you cannot just press X to jump. So that's that's one interesting thing about it. Uh, also, I'm I'm playing this on PS5. It is on PS4, and it is also on PC. I believe. I don't believe it's been confirmed for Xbox or any other platforms. Got a little uh, focus L2 to like zoom in, see what's going on. That's where I'm going. I want to go the other direction, though, because if you've watched this channel for a while, you know that my vibe generally is uh, go the opposite of the progress way to see if there's any collectibles or anything. But I, I have actually not encountered any collectibles at all in this game so far. I, again, I'm very early. Um, 
but I, I am not aware. Oh, that was slick. Uh, yeah, the, the, having to having to find the prompt with the camera is a little bit fiddly. Um, that is one. That is one negative, but I suppose a positive from that is um, you know that when you hit a jump, you're going to hit it, for lack of a better term. It's more about finding your way rather than precise timing, which, as viewers of this channel will know, is not my strength. Obviously, I am yammering all over this because I am a Twitch streaming buffoon, but it's quite atmospheric. I like the soundtrack. Like I said, it's it's kind of evoking an, an eco or an inside or a limbo even to a certain extent, even though it doesn't even though it's not 2D like those games. It's kinda of like It's platforming, but it's not really a twitchy kind of reactionary platformer. It's more of a you're platforming around an environment and there's no dialogue, but you're kind of picking up on a vibe or a, a sort of a lot of environmental storytelling. Uh, the height and places the cat can and can't jump seems pretty arbitrary, says Garrett. Absolutely, yeah. Um, uh, because again, this little scripted thing, it's kind of like, like, why can't I jump up on this, this, do you know what I mean? Why can't I jump up there? You know, it's, it's, um, I haven't run into too much of that, but I have definitely run into some examples of, um, of, of feeling like I should be able to go somewhere and the game won't let me. Obviously, this is a nice looking game. Look at this light. Let's, uh, let's let's get a good look at Kitty's face. Let's get a good look. That is the power of the PlayStation 5. This is a good little cat. This is a good little cat. This is a good neon sign advertising noodles. So I've already done one puzzle where I had to break a fan by clogging it, but I guess this is a new one where it's like, okay, now there are power adapters, you know what I mean? The flat. Yeah, fuck up that bottle of wine! What year is this computer from? This is some, this is some great, like, 2001, 2002 computer tech aesthetic. Love that. Uh, again, there there have been no real specific details as to what variety of um, of post apocalypse we are dealing with in this game. I I it has not yet re revealed itself to me. There are robots. I know that much. I kind of like this music. If I press this prompt, will it knock it? Yes. Oh no! He turned it off. Okay, turn it back on, kitty. Yeah. All right. What the fuck was that? Yeah, there's all these little sections where you can do things like this, like just... Like scratch up some carpet just to be a little shithead. Again, it, it, this game does not present your character as anything other than a cat. It is not... It is not a special cat, but from what I've seen so far, you are just a cat. And cats like to rip up their fucking carpet. That's fun. Right. Oh, look at the balance. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh. Yeah, physics. All right, let's fuck these up as well. <laughs> I'm trashing your apartment. Fuck your carpet. Need help.
This is great. Body required for download. Body required. Enter the door. Oh shit. It's weird because there's some stuff like this that's in English and then there's obviously a in-universe, like, fictitious, uh, um, language. Got a matrix room here. Okay. Okay, I'm literally doing puzzles, okay. Okay, presumably there has to be more of those around for me to... Oh! Oh, wait, no, get back here! No. Hey, look, a little cat. A little gold cat. Alright. Oh-ho! There we go. Beautiful. The door locked behind me as well, so there's definitely no. Uh... Oh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, right in front of me, Barry. Oh, my God. There's a there's a robot. What am I doing here? I just decapitated that robot. I just love I love the little e eh, e. Eh. Doing what with this?
The animation on the cat is just fantastic. It's great. Did they motion capture a real cat or is it just really, really, really well done, like hand animated stuff? It looks like we're getting some adorable cat robot adventures coming up here. I can't understand you, my friend. Oh, now I can. Get out of here, buddy. I'm not alone, that's right. Oh, so I can direct him to do things, okay. You're going to have to put this on. Whoa! Oh, he hates it! He, I don't think he likes it! Oh, maybe he does. Cats are so hard to read. Oh, it's too heavy! <laughs> Look at that! It's great! God, I've got an inventory. Holy shit. Okay, keys. Memories. Oh, we definitely have collectibles, so these are definitely collectibles. Um examine. Oh that, that keychain is class. It's like a hard drive. Show to B12. Oh I can't he I guess he's already seen it. Hey, well, this 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 thing is changing up very quickly, quicker than I was expecting. Oh, holy shit! That is a strong torchlight. My God! Wow, that's what that has got to be one of the best torches in a game ever. They are usually terrible. What's in here? Oh, hang on. I got some cat shit to do. <laughs> Can I jump into the paint? Oh. Uh, no, no paw prints. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, we're Garrett. We're becoming real. Uh, uh, oh shit! I don't have the code. We're becoming real uh, graphic snobs when we care when we care about things like paw prints. Rockstar would have had paw prints. Okay. I think there was a code in this room, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three seven four eight. This is a nice looking game. It's very hard it's very hard to do post apocalyptic in any context and have it look still impressive and, and stimulating in any way, but this is this is a neat looking game, I think. Oh look at it. I'm looking B12, it's nice, isn't it? Right. Oh hell yeah! The lads on another adventure! <laughs> oh my god, look how cool this is! Oh my god. Oh shit, what is going on down here?
Uh oh, no dollar. No bottle either. All right. And Okay. Okay. Oh, so it literally just recaps the, the dialogue. Okay, well, that's fine. I am having a great vacation here in Montepierre. Lots of sun and great people. I think I could stay here a little longer than expected. Be Bob said to Ollie. Do you know these characters, B12? Interesting. Okay. There's going to be some mysteries, folks. There's going to be some mysteries. There's going to be pushing pushing things over as cats do and sci-fi mysteries. <laughs> things I like. They're all things I like. Uh, we haven't yet encountered it while I've been streaming, but there is also a uh, a half-life head crab type enemy that is quite scary. It's quite well done. There's a, a chase sequence earlier on that's pretty good. Probably can't get across, can I? Yeah, as Garrett mentioned earlier, like I, I feel like I should be able to jump up there, but I can't because it's it's not like an agree it's not like a, an agreed upon designated jump zone. R2 is a run, by the way. Look at this, man. This is so nice looking. Safe zone. I hope so. Oh, here's the little... There's the little monsters. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! They look a lot like head crabs. They look a lot like them. Alright. Is that a person or a robot? Robot. friendly he doesn't seem like he's friendly oh shit okay. the robots are scared of, of me is it because I'm specifically a cat or just a living or just a living thing do they not like living things super spirit Oh, you're right. Actually, I do. I do remember. Yeah, there's that. In, that whoa, shit! That initial shot is in the trailer. Okay. <laughs> Maybe wrong on this, but I, I, I get the feeling this is not going to be a game that explicitly states exactly what happened in this world to the nth degree. I, I, I don't think that's coming. And I, I would hope not. Feels like one of those things that should probably just be like like left for its own. We're not gonna fight, are we? Look at how adorable that cat is. Slowly. to have their own language. Yeah, everyone in this game seems to have their own language. You're no Zerk.
fair. Those are fair rules. Those are fair rules. I have to abide by those. There's some scenes in the in the intro where you drink water, but I actually don't know what you eat in this universe. Snowboy, am I am I background noise while you beat Hades? Happy to help if that's the case. Those are those are the most sacred of relationships. Show item. Well, that's, I'm part that's of the actually really useless. Followed Twitch gang, motherfucker. The real Walter White. None of these fakers. Just follow. Thank you so much for popping by. And thank you more for following. Okay, I can show him stuff. That's, that's a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now. Except Momo. You can talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Is Momo going to be like the last living... Last living human. Press down. Okay. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. No need we've got for getting out of here. Roshi. I love that I, I have the option of like showing them all the items. That's actually nice. Let's explore around before we head towards. Whoa, we got like. Oh, we've got like exploring options here. Look at this, man. This is this is a neat. Oh, this is a little. This is a real. This is a little hub area for sure. There's our goal. Here's all our directions we can go. Oh, okay. Now, now we're getting a little bit more. Now we're getting a little bit more free roamy with it. I love it. Okay. Roll the ball, says the equal ball. Oh. <gasps> okay. Okay, hang on. I want to line this up correctly. <laughs> Hell yes, boys. Hell yes. Okay, I was not. I was not expecting this game to open up in this way because, like I said, I was getting real inside vibes from it. I was thinking linear. Walk in one direction, get your story, and that's it. I was not expecting, um... I was not expecting openness. Um, which is fine. Openness can be good or bad, depending on how it's deployed. Uh, I am intrigued that this game is, is giving us some options. Translate option there a second ago. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. Three energy drink cans. Where am I supposed to get them? I'm not. I don't want you to accept it. I just wanted to show it to you. This is a set of electrical cables, the best in the market. Super spear. Oh my god! There's so much going on. There's so much happening. What does all this stuff do? I, I'm so fascinated. What does all this stuff do? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I know, I know. Okay. Is all that stuff literally just for decoration? I am so fascinated what all this stuff does. Right. 
Okay, not, they don't believe in the outside is a, is a recurring thing. Okay. A blue sky! Ha! Imagine that. You said it, video game. You can hold X to do a little Assassin's Creed style, like, free run. Uh, let's go back onto that rooftop I, I was just on a second ago before I got distracted by the marketplace. Let's, uh, let's see, let's see where that takes us. If I go up here, what... What's in it for me? What's in it for my troubles? Gotta be something up here. Come on. What is this? It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Midtown is up there all the way from... Away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Makes you think, boys. Robots copied this behavior. Okay, but I, I I wanted a soda can, lads. I wanted a I wanted a drink can so that I could trade it for a record or whatever the fuck it was, a music can. Look at all this, man. Look at all this. This is so cool looking. Got a robot over there organizing his paint cans. I honestly this is this is really giving me those I, I wanna just explore and we'll do we'll do the, the main mission like later. Because right now I just wanna <laughs> Wait, what did that do? I picked up some sheet music. Oh, so there's multiple pieces of sheet music, okay. Clementine's Notebook. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown. Apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with me. We should, we should go see that Momo first. Oh, my God. There's Momo. Momo's up there, but I don't, I don't want to go there just yet. Oh, more sheet music. This one's called Ballad of the Lonely Robot. A 
And he went in there, let me home. Yeah, I, I'm... Like I said earlier, I don't want too much explained. Uh, I hope the human involvement isn't overplayed too much. I would kind of like it to just be... I mean, I'm going to assume off the bat that it's going to be some... They fucked everything up, the, and then only did they fuck it up, but they, like, the robots aped their behavior, which caused them to, to fuck everything up as well. Um, uh, but I hope it doesn't turn into too much of a human-centric thing. Look at this cool character. Holy shit. Oh, he does not like cats. Look at his face. Brother's more of a dog man. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. Surface, it's a sensitive subject around here. There are some whose code can understand that concept. There are ones who know about the outside but are too resigned to do anything. Can I show him the sheet music? Okay, he doesn't play. I showed him the diary. He said there's a logo of the Outsiders. They were a group of people who went looking for the surface. Momo was one of them. Okay. They went into the sewer. There's not a pee from them since. Okay. So I actually appreciate that not only do you get somewhat interesting nuggets from going to other characters, but also showing them items. So not just going to them, but going to them with a certain thing. Um... I think Momo will always regret that decision. Oh, can I scratch? Yeah, I'm gonna fuck up your couch! Yeah! Hell yeah, okay. Where to now, Momo? Again, I really do, I don't want to accidentally trigger a story cutscene because I'm actually having fun exploring. Oh! So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's day. Time is weird. Do you play music? Okay. okay. This guy, this guy is looking at a, a, a Windows screensaver. Whatever floats your boat, though. Oh my god, there's so much to explore. It's it's actually almost slightly o overwhelming. Let me in. Okay. Can I get up there? Again, kind of like what we were saying earlier, kind of looked like an area I should be able to get to, but... Let's go, let's go up here. <laughs> get a drink, kitty! Oh, excellent! Rest in peace, humans. Humans are the first residents around here. It seems they're all dead now. What do you think? It feels like being dead. I mean, so... I'd be pretty... I was assuming Momo was going to be a, a, a human. But if, if... It would be very weird for him to be the last living human and to be just some guy in a in a in a room you know what i mean but again maybe that's kind of the point that the last living human would in fact be just a guy with no one else around to acknowledge him as more than just a guy
<laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, I feel really bad. Holy shit. I was too busy reading this graffiti. I'm looking for any sheet music to play the guitar and add some ambiance. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live near the elevator. Morusk. Okay, Morusk. Can I can I talk to this poor chap I just tripped up here? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm just trying to talk to you. Okay, I, I, I very specifically cannot talk to him. Okay. Uh, so the dude who lives near the elevator... And mock loathing, Elliot programming. Oh, look at this. This is a cool character right here. I'm getting the same general vibe from. Surgery. Let's, let's see if we can find the guy who plays the guitar. Tape deck up there. Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones, left the city. Our home is their legacy. Very creepy. Okay, you know what? I think I'm. I think I'm going to wrap it up there because I'm kind of going to. I, I'm gonna want to explore all the all the options here, and I, I think I will. I wanted this to be a little quick sampling of this, just to to let everyone know what this game is all about. And I think we've gotten a good indication of that. Uh, it is pretty dang neat. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, so again, thirty quid, PS4, PS5, PC, and it is included in the mid tier of the new PlayStation Plus, and it's well worth a spin. I would say. If anything you saw here has tickled your fancy. I'm curious to see how the rest of it plays out. Intrigued by the story. Intrigued by the world. Curious to see what the human element's going to be. Also, I'm totally surprised by this little open-ended segment here. So I'm curious how open is the remainder of this game. Um, but uh, Oh my god, he's grooming himself. Oh, how adorable. Oh, bless you, Stray. You don't have a name. I'll call you Stray for now. Anyway folks thank you so much for watching if you are watching on youtube you can go check out all my other uh, stuff that i'm playing at the moment uh 50 cent bulletproof and stardew valley there will be some more 50 cent tomorrow night which you can look forward to you can also catch me live 8 p.m wednesdays and thursdays on twitch.tv slash barrier that that's 8 p.m irish and uk time and uh yeah i'll see you all tomorrow for more 50 cent in the meantime uh go adopt a kitty <laughs>